Hey guys, Quack and Quizzo here, back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video, and in this video I'm going to be giving you what I believe to be the best assault rifle class build in the game, or at least that's my opinion, obviously it's fine if you disagree, but this is what I'm going to put in to this, uh, into this loadout. Now this is a great all-round loadout, it's also effective on gold difficulty, so it's good for the gold runs as well, and for the, you know, the veterans of Andromeda multiplayer. First off, I'm going to be using the Turian Havoc Trooper, let me just uh, show you that guy right now, Turian Havoc Trooper, let me just uh, scroll down here, awesome, awesome character, I'll go more into depth with uh, his abilities and everything in a second, but really cool character, really, it's sort of a really good overall uh, sort of a soldier character, but with a few sort of perks and uh, extra, you know, like extra bits on the side. Now, his abilities, his uh, perks are incinerate, turbocharge, flak cannon, munitions training, and aerial assault. Munitions training is just like weapon training, aerial assault is basically his, uh, I'll go more into depth on that in a second, that's sort of his, like, niche, his uh, extra perk. Incinerate is just like a ball of fire, turbocharge um, increases rate of fire and increases clip size, very effective, and flak cannon is, basically, if you've ever fought the Krogan Berserkers before, it's basically their explosive shot weapon, it's basically uh, that. Now, uh, Incinerate is going to be uh, really good for sort of uh, hitting enemies round cover and or over cover and round corner, so if you've got an enemy behind cover or around a corner, uh, you can sort of arc the shot. I'll show you in the gameplay after this, but you can sort of arc the shot round, round whatever cover they are behind. It will hit them and then stun them, even if you don't put any perk points into it like I. I've only got three perk points in it or three skill points into it. It's not going to be doing really any damage at all, but it will still stun the enemies and it will pop them out of cover for us, you know, a, a short amount of time. As you can see in the little uh, GIF video clip at the side there, it sort of stuns them. It sets them aflame, it sets them on fire, and that's going to pop them out of cover giving you a good chance to get some shots off of them. Now, turbocharge, very useful for uh, increasing, like I said, uh, fire rate. Uh, really, you're going to be really you're want, going to want to use this whenever you can, whenever you get the chance, whenever it is available. Flat cannon is going to be great for taking out groups of enemies, uh, doing damage to enemies as a whole. And uh, once you upgrade it, you know, to the high ranks, it's going to be doing some serious damage. Or you can choose to increase how many you've got per uh, sort of uh, per character, how many you can carry. Look here, you can see plus three power cell capacity. It will increase how many you can carry. Currently, I've got six. I can carry six and uh, shooting six freaking like basically sh six artillery shots down on enemies does a lot of damage a lot of damage even to the toughest of them and uh, as you can see I've put most of my skill points into the uh, the passive abilities or passive skill trees at the bottom as well I uh, went with munitions training all the way and I chose uh, the bottom ones for rank five and rank six just because they seem to help weapons the most in my opinion and then aer aerial assault um, I've gone with, uh, I haven't got it all the way up, but when I do get it to rank 6, I'm going to go with that one, with the, with the close quarters momentum one. That's just going to help Malie, uh, that's going to help max shields and max health the most, and that's what I find the most important. Now, the guns we're going to be using with this, uh, with this character, with this loadout, are the Token, which is an assault rifle, the Cat assault rifle, very awesome. It's got a, uh, it's got incredible fire rate, really high rate of fire, especially when used with that turbocharger ability that I mentioned a little while ago that increases your fire rate it's really really great especially when uh, when used with that the projectiles have uh, have a slight tracking homing ability it's not major it's not going to help out that much but they will sort of veer towards enemies a little bit uh, it's also great against shields obviously because it's got a high fire rate basically high rate of fire weapons are always good against shields really good against health as well and it does okay against uh, armor it's not great but it does okay now this is a, a rare weapon so you're going to want to open 50,000 credits and 100,000 credits packs uh, to stand a good chance of unlocking this thing um, now use this at full auto at close range when you walk close and personal with an enemy if you don't feel like punching them in the face with your omni blade use this at full auto don't be afraid to just hold down the trigger like constantly uh, and you know you just spray and pray basically but at medium to long range well not really long range don't engage enemies at long range with this uh, with this gun but at medium range uh, use short controlled burst kind of tease the trigger tease the button a little bit and that's sort of uh, that you're gonna hit more shots off then now this does run out of ammo quite quickly it's got a kind of a small mag size as you'll see in the gameplay that's coming up very soon uh, so if you just hold down full auto at long range and miss a bunch of shots, you're, not, you're gonna have to reload. It's gonna take ages for you to actually take down an enemy if you're you know, full auto uh, shooting at an enemy that's that's uh, you know a pretty decent long range. So 
makes it very important that you tease the trigger and sort of control your uh, your burst do short control burst like i said now because it runs out of ammo quite quickly be prepared to run to the nearest ammo box or bring ammo refills you know the consumables that you know instantly refill all of your ammo very useful with this gun obviously because it really tears through your uh, ammo count very uh, very quickly now this is very effective when used to fire on enemies that you're hovering above one thing about the tour and havoc trooper that i forgot to mention before he can actually hover uh, he's got a controlled hover ability which basically means he can sort of uh, fly around the map for a short amount of time instead of just hovering in the air like a sitting duck like most of the other characters he can actually like float around the map and actually move around the map and you can sort of control where you go you can basically fly uh, around the map for a short period of time now this gun is very effective when used with that sort of a uh, little niche little ability of the uh, havoc trooper because uh, you can do that you can hover above a group of enemies that are you know behind cover you can hover over that cover fly up and over that cover that they are taking cover behind activate turbo charge which will increase your clip size of the token and fire rate increase your rate of fire make it you know blow it through the roof and then just you know, rain hell down on them and, and unleash loads of bullets unleash a storm of bullets on uh, on the enemies down there now i'm going to be using the the mods that i'm going to be using are the ar stuck which reduces uh recoil by 33 percent or increases assault rifle stability by 33 percent and i'm going to be using the ar barrel which uh, is plus nine percent assault rifle damage if you've got any others that you think are better than that let me know down in the comments i would always go with the ar barrel but as you can see i've only got three unlocked i know there's quite a few uh, I'm not going to go with the scope, that's not really that useful for this weapon, but I'd always go with the barrel because extra damage is always useful, but if you've got one in mind that's probably more useful for AOS than AR stuck, then uh, you know a little less recoil, then definitely go with that one if you would prefer. Now well, we'll move on to the second weapon I'm using. This is actually going to be the Talon. Now the Talon is a, a shotgun pistol hybrid, uh, hybrid. Really good against armor. Really good against so like boss type enemies. Whenever boss type enemies like Hydras or Fiends turn up um, you know, wave 4, wave 5 pull this baby out. It's going to be do doing some serious damage to those guys. The token is like I said good against health shields but not that great against armor whereas the, uh, the Talon is going to be really good against armor is going to be really really effective against armor and technically it's a pistol it counts as a pistol i'll show you here i'm going to the pistol section here actually counts as a pistol even though it's a shotgun as you'll see in the gameplay coming up it's actually a pistol it counts as a pistol so the weight it's got the weight of a pistol it's not going to blow your weight through the roof it's not going to affect your power recharge speed by much as you can see at the top there i've got minus 18 percent uh, power uh, recharge speed if it was a full-blown shotgun and it weighed the same as a full-blown shotgun it would be much worse and my powers would take much longer to uh much longer to to refill and you know regenerate now i'm using the pistol barrel mod which like the assault rifle barrel just increases pistol damage i don't like the scope there's no point in equipping the scope i, I know there's other pistol mods out there if you've got any in mind maybe like uh, ones that reduce the recoil or something definitely equip those but i've only got these two and i really don't like a shotgun with a scope there's no point to it so I'm just rolling with the pistol barrel. That's what I'm going to be rolling with. Now, I'm going to be using the combative equipment upgrade over here on the right. This basically increases the damage dealt by assault rifles and pistols by 10%. Extra damage is always useful. And uh, as I said before, we've got an assault rifle, the token, and we've got a talon, uh, which is, we've got a pistol, which is the talon. Uh, so the combatives upgrade is going to affect both of those and going to help both of those now this uh, this loadout is meant as a close to medium range class it's not intended as a long range loadout or even a long range assault rifle loader so just bear that in mind but it's not going to be that good if you try and out sniper a sniper you're probably not going to succeed that much but uh, other than that it's pretty damn decent i think this is one of the best uh, assault rifle loadouts out there maybe even the best in my opinion let me know what you think of it obviously i think i've covered everything i do believe i've covered everything like i said remember this guy's got the uh, the controlled hover ability very effective and it's one of the things that sets this guy out from the rest of the uh from the from the crowd from the rest of the uh, the characters and it goes very well with the token and the turbo charge if you use all of those in uh, in, in sort of uh, unison and and the uh, the flat cannon if you're flying above enemies unleash hell down with the token uh, with the token uh, whilst turbo charge is active then when you run out of that m first mag with the token that's when you should you know start off with your flak cannon ability and just drop a bunch of flak cannon uh, artillery or shots down on them you'll do super damage really incredible damage now i'm going to show you how this guy performs in battle i'm going to show you a silver match uh, so yeah i'll see you guys in a second
Alright guys, so I've jumped into a silver multiplayer match. I was going to jump into a gold one, but this guy is only level 17, I think, or level 18. I'm not going to attempt that until I'm level 20. I can be a bit of a, a long-time noob. Like, I'm a bit, I'm kind of a veteran with the Mass Effect games, but I can still always be a, a noob. I don't know how I do it, but I do. So I don't want to give you a video of just me dying, so I'm going to do a silver match and show you how this uh, this loadout performs i'll show you the token now for anyone that hasn't used this thing before or seen it this is an absolute beast look at that just look at the effect of it <laughs> i love this i think it looks like the, the shots of it the bullets are the coolest out of any gun in the game in my opinion now when you hold down one thing to remember with this gun is if you you know have sustained fire consistent fire hold the trigger down it's going to make the uh, the red skill the aiming red skill massive so if you're shooting at an enemy that's, you know, any more than like 10 feet away, you're probably going to want, in fact, I'm going to show you that, I'm going to demonstrate what I mean. You're probably going to want to burst fire. What I mean by that is sort of uh, tease the trigger, don't just hold it down. Otherwise, it's going to make your shots fly all over the place and make it really hard to hit your target. Now, an ability that this guy's got that I didn't cover before because I wanted to cover it in the gameplay here is turbocharge. Now that increases your rate of fire massively. I've got it, I've got it enabled there. You saw how fast my, uh, my rate of fire was there. Increases the rate of fire and also increases the mag size. Very useful for this weapon because this weapon has a pretty small mag size considering how high the rate of fire is and because it's got such a good rate of fire, you know, usually having an even better rate of fire just, just sort of uh, increases its uh, advantage even more. I'll try and show you uh, what I mean about the turbocharge now. Let me go and find an enemy. Let me find a tough enemy. Right, I'm going to activate turbocharge now. Right, turbocharge is now activated. Watch this. Look at that, look at that frickin', it turns it into a frickin' storm. It makes it like a storm of bullets. It's so awesome. Now this is a, turbocharge is a power that a few characters have, but Turian Soldier has it. Uh, I'm using the Turian Havoc Trooper simply because I prefer this character to the Turian Soldier, and this is why you should use the Turian, Sol uh, the Turian Havoc Trooper to the Soldier. You can actually hover in the air for a much longer time, but you can, and you can actually control where you go. You don't just stay, you know, up there in the air like a sitting duck. You actually move around the map as I'm doing now. Very cool, very useful save you wanted to get from that building to that building, but those enemies along this walkway. You could float along there, and uh, you can stay in the air for quite a while. You can't do it, you know, indefinitely. You will fall eventually, but it's very useful, especially for a weapon uh, or, or, or like, like a loadout like this, because obviously you can fly above enemies, do loads of damage, rain loads of damage down on them, and then just duck out of there. Very effective it really is, which is why I'm using the Torian Havoc Trooper. One of my favorite characters in the game. Really, really cool this guy is. Now, I'll show you the, uh, the flak cannon as well. Let me see if I can demonstrate uh, the, the flak cannon. When enemies come, obviously, because they've got nothing to shoot right now. In fact, I'll show you this. Like, that's, that's the flak cannon. Uh, as you can see, that's the, uh, like the uh, effect of the Krogan Berserker's weapon. Let me see if I can show you how it performs against an enemy. Like, watch this now. I'll do some damage against this guy. Now, the, the, uh, the flak cannon's going to be best against health. It's not that great against armor. It's alright against shields. It's better against shields than it is against armor. But it's going to be good. It's a very good power to use either way. And like I said, if you are near some... Uh, like a big group of enemies, definitely put it down, definitely drop some. And as you can see, I had it leveled up there. Uh, let me just go and like show you what I'm talking about. I I have it leveled up. I have the uh, the flat cannon ability leveled up. So when I go to an ammo box and refill, my maximum amount is actually six. Six is a lot. Like you could use the uh, the hover ability, hover a bunch, uh, hover above a bunch of enemies and drop six of these down. Six of those is going to take out a lot of enemies. Really, even if you're on gold going to take a lot of enemies out or at least do a lot of damage it's really really effective now incinerate let me show you what i meant about uh, how you can fire it around walls let me see if i can find an enemy right i'll show you how i can uh, how you can sort of fire it around walls you can arc it off to the side instead of say if there's an enemy over oh, oh crap this guy's about to freaking wreck me say if there's an enemy behind that cover instead of just shooting it dead at that cover Aim up a little bit so you can see you're still locked on if you know what I mean by locked on like it's still selected that enemy and you're still seeing the name and the, the health bar it'll actually arc around as you saw there it sort of flew up to the side but still arc around and hit my target very useful say if there's an enemy behind that cover up there you can arc it around hit the enemy that enemy will then be stunned and popped out of that cover and you can lay down some fire and hopefully kill it or just you know keep it busy until you uh, until you can get up close and personal and just whack it in the face until it dies essentially very effective even like i said even when you haven't really got incinerate leveled up at all it is very effective of an ability it's really effective it's really fun to use as well i'm gonna try and do some damage to this guy like watch how much uh, damage it does to the shield and to the health it's pretty damn good it's, look how much it's ripping through that guy's health this is on silver that's a goddamn that's the arguably the strongest enemy in the game and it just 
absolutely shredded through that, uh, that enemy, through that destroyed. Does a lot of damage, it does. The only uh, enemies that that uh, Incinerate probably isn't going to be that great against is these guys with nullifiers because they've obviously got the front facing shields. Unless you can flank them, it's going to be quite hard to though. And uh, their shields will basically block anything you can throw at them, especially Incinerate. Incinerate is one of the worst things to use against those guys, so just bear that in mind. And uh, this gun's actually only got a, a, a mag size of 25. Let me show you how quickly you burn through that. Let me just prove that, like, show that now. It doesn't last very long. It really doesn't. It, it, you burn through the mag size quite quickly. And the reserve ammo that you've got, uh, I've got 142 max reserve ammo. You, you can actually upgrade that. I think you can get mods to sort of upgrade how much like reserve ammo you can carry and everything. But I haven't got any of those equipped. If you have got those, consider equipping those. Don't equip it in place of the uh, the assault rifle barrel though, because that's always going to be used for increasing damage. Extra damage is always good. But instead of using like the assault rifle stock, maybe you could equip the you know a, a mod that gives you more you know more reserve ammo. That would be useful. But uh, yeah, bear that in mind about the. Uh, about the ammo, it will you will burn through it pretty damn quickly. I'll show you where. Oh crap! I gotta get the hell out of here. He just wrecked me. I'm gonna duck up here. I was, I was coming to. The, I was trying to come to the aid of my homie up there. Let me see if I can jump up. There we go. I'll show you how effective the talent shotgun is. Or the talent shotgun pistol. Very effective. Let me show you now. It does pretty well against shields, but very well against health and armor. Like I said, switch to this bad boy when there's an armored enemy up close, you know, that's about to take you out. Or if you're going against the uh, the remnants like I am right now, uh, the destroyers, they they happen to have health, armor, and oh no, they have armor and shields. So you gotta take down the shields first and then the armor. Use the token for taking down the shields and then go, you know, switch over to the, uh, switch over to the uh, the talon to take down the armor. That's going to be the best and most efficient way. I'm about to get wrecked. Holy crap! I'm going to use the uh, the flat cannon now. As you can see, the flat cannon is badass as hell, and it will do quite well against like uh, those big enemies as well. It's got reduced effectiveness against armor. It's not going to be great against. I'm getting wrecked. Holy crap! This is a uh, an apex mission, so there's some mission modifiers on. I have a feeling there's a mission modifier that makes you weaker, that gives you less health. I hope these guys come and get me. They'll please don't let me die. Please don't. I don't know if these guys are gonna. Uh, get me are they are they gonna come and revive me but yeah remember that like the, uh, the the shrapnel or the flat cannon isn't that great against armor you might need to switch to your talent always when that whenever there's an armored guy definitely switch to the talent especially against these uh, nullifiers i'll show you how well the talent can do against these nullifiers right now let me see and you can also use the uh, the, the turbo charge ability to increase the rate of fire on the talent it will increase the rate of fire on that and make it more effective it's, it's good for any gun really it uh, helps any gun. Now, at this range, as you can see, you're not really going to hit that enemy. You can get a few shots off at it, but if, unless you're playing on bronze with, like, a max level character, you're probably not going to do a whole lot of damage against those things. You can sort of do it. See, I got the kill there. It does take a while. See what I mean about sort of teasing the trigger? Don't hold, just hold it down, because you're probably not going to get any kills or do much damage if you just hold it down. Let me see if I can get some damage on this guy. See, watch how quickly it just tears through. Like, he's dead now. I did, I did some of that. I can take credit for some of that. Um, but in terms of like what the guns look like as well, the Talon just looks like a typical sort of pistol. It does look very cool. It sort of looks like a revolver, kind of, and uh, the token looks freaking awesome. I love the look of this thing. I love the bullets, the way it looks. I love the uh, the muscle, the muzzle flash at the end of the uh, at the end of the the barrel. It looks so freaking cool. It looks like looks like a freaking plasma explosion or something. Very cool. One of the most awesome looking guns and most effective guns in the game. Let's see if we can take this guy's shields down a little bit. He's about to freaking wreck me though. I gotta get out of the way of his main cannon. Get wrecked! Let's see if I can do some damage to this guy's shields. See, it does tear through the shields pretty efficiently. These guys are, like I said, I think they're the, the toughest guys in the game. So it will take quite a bit, but once you get going and once you get used to the gun, it's gonna be pretty damn effective. I'm keeping an eye on the time up in the top right hand corner because I don't want to miss the evac. I don't want to be that guy screws up everyone's uh, full, full extraction bonus. But as you can see, it's doing some major damage. I'm going to switch, switch to the Talon now, take the rest of his armor down. Watch his uh, health bar, watch his armor bar. Just look how effective it is at taking it down. It's doing a lot of damage. I might actually supplement that with some of this, the, uh, the flat cannon. As you can see, the flat cannon, even though it's supposed to have like a reduced effectiveness against armor, once you upgrade it enough and, you know, if you pump enough of this flat cannon, shots or flat cannon uh, charges into an enemy it's gonna kill them it's gonna do a lot of damage against them it's one of my most uh, favorite abilities in the game it's very effective it really is you see if i can get some uh, freaking long range shots off on that guy oh my god this gun's so good i love this gun so much it's so freaking awesome it really is 
Is that thing dead yet? No, that thing's still alive. We're gonna... Oh, no, someone did take it out. Someone did take it out. But in this, uh, like, situation, try and flank them. Like, if you... There's no point e using either of these weapons against a nullifier at point blank range if it's gonna use the... Uh, if it's gonna use the... The shield what you want to do is try and let you know like a teammate distract it or just hit it from the side or just stay in the objective like i am doing now because i don't want to like that i don't want to sacrifice everyone's full extraction bonus and see if we can get a kill on that oh wanna, uh, can i get the last kill oh no there we go we got a kill we got a freaking breach kill oh yes oh yes now this uh this loadout is very good let me know what you think of this loadout in the comments if you've got any suggestions or tweaks you'd make to this loadout let me know obviously and uh, let me know when you've tried it let me know what you think of it after you've tried it i think it's very good i think it's really effective i'm loving the token it's one of those guns that you sort of have to get used to uh you can play it uh, you know a match or two with it it might not seem that great but once you sort of break in that habit of using it and uh, once you sort of hit the, the the learning curve and you've learned how to use it it's very effective it's really very effective and that coupled with the talon uh, shotgun pistol hybrid is it's it's like a god loadout it really is it really is very good anyway that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed or find it helpful if you did please leave a like it would really help me out and i would really appreciate it if you want to see any more of my videos definitely stick around and subscribe anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video